just um, saluting to him and tipping my hat to my to my old man. Yeah. Wow. And I, I remember hearing this song actually on social media when it initially came out, and a couple of right. days after, actually, or maybe I think on the day, um, I was having a discussion with a couple of friends, and mm-hmm. because that's when the horns are longer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and um yeah, it really resonated with me that thing and um yeah, I, that's something that will be passed on to all generations. Yeah. Um and you 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 know getting less and less involved in their lives and in in their decision making so that you may allow them to to make their own decisions and you know, and chart their own journeys and and fly, uh, mm-hmm. so to speak. So, um, you know, learn so much from whatever mistake. I realized then that you know, at this point, we parents, we um, as, as the as the children grow older, we were there just to to be there to pick up the pieces, you know, and, and to and to yeah. yeah so. Um, well, I don't know. Uh, uh, Ogi, actually, actually, uh, Go ahead. And, and and it's this might be controversial, and I hope I really yeah, do hope no, no. it comes across well. But in the Philippines, there is also a culture of uh, my children, all of them, here or do it, and I can relax. And it it becomes sort of a loop of that type of mentality. Um, first of all, have you noticed that in the Philippines, and how how do you feel about that specifically? Do we need to break that mentality? You mentioned controversial, and <laughs> yes, it is. Um, but I think it's even more prevalent when you look at our OFWs, who you know enslave themselves to work in a foreign land, and um, and this. And whatever they, they, they earn and they make, it does not just go to their parents. Because you realize that those who have, um, I shouldn't say advocated, but those who have that kind of mentality, it means that they, they had wrong parenting skills. Yeah. In their culture, but in other cultures as well. However... Because we have really close family ties here in the Philippines, um, and this UTL utang no, that's not yeah, UTL yeah. <laughs> utang UNL UNL utang na loob mentality. That's why pag kinasal ka, ito po yung nasa Biblia, you really have to live apart from your parents because all sorts of problems will come up. Um, and I guess that is the the root of it all. Yeah. Um, and she they, said, they, no, do, do you know? Do you know why she's saying that? Because she's telling you she's the queen. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. And that also means uh, a bad thing for my sister, <laughs> who also has <laughs> left recently. So that's the same reason. No two queens in the same house. Very, but over here, you know. before we before we move on, are you right? Yeah. Right. To be mayabang, to be arrogant, uh, <laughs> for your head to, to lift to the clouds, but you didn't. Was there ever actually? Was there ever a time, Sir Ogi, that you you let it slip, and or you you became a little bit uh, arrogant in your talent and skill? Uh, and and of course now myself, um, they are they're good people, and I think they're well equipped with um, their good their values and. I think they're going to be good parents. Um, you can tell because they treat their dogs really well. <laughs> <Okay. That's, laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> <measurement. laughs> uso no yung mga mall tours no. Right. Like you would, oh you would do your mall you would do your mall shows on your own. Mm-hmm. And I would do that every Sunday, and people were like, "Who's who's that?" <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> it's like uh, it was it was quite pathetic. It, Right. Yeah, right to be mayabang to be arrogant uh, <laughs> for your head to, to lift to the clouds but you didn't was there ever actually was there ever a time Sir Ogi that you you let it slip in a, or you you became a little bit uh, arrogant 
your talent and skill? Uh, the word for it. Um, careless. <laughs> okay. And, uh, you know, in whatever I do or in my pronouncements, because, you know, part of the responsibility of being up there or you know, being prominent is, is our, you know, songwriting methods. We, we didn't have technology. All we had was the piano, a, a guitar, and, and a tape recorder. So things were just very different back then. And I think it was just the sheer enjoyment, enjoyment, I should say, of, of performing live. Mm-hmm. That was just because uso no yung mga mall tours, no? Right. Like you would, you oh would do your mall, you would do your mall shows on your own. Mm-hmm. And I would do that every Sunday. And people were like, who's, who's that? <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> it's like, uh, it was it was quite pathetic. Um, <laughs> um, you you will not be my abang. You will right. cherish every single moment and be be grateful and be thankful for for every bit of little success you make. So that's that's really great and that's really interesting as well because a lot of people. Uh, what do you think about? Because uso no yung mga mall tours, no? Right. You would you would do your mall you would do your mall shows on your own. Mm-hmm. And I would do that every Sunday, and people were like, "Who's who's that?" <laughs> you know, um, <laughs> it's like uh, it was it was quite pathetic. I had to sing in bars, like on a weekday. Like my my uh, set was Mondays, and uh, I would sing like ten is ten thirty. Is the crowd big? Um, very, very no, big? not at all. A lot of drunks, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, it, it was a it was a tough crowd, but or whatnot. Mm-hmm. You know, live bashing, if you will. Um, but it 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 made us uh, stronger, I suppose. Uh, the seasoning came in faster um, when we when we were already doing a burden thing. for us. It was yeah. because we were doing it every week. We were doing it. <laughs> you know, we're singing 10, 15 songs for two sets. So we were used to it. And um, I think experiencing every single bit of hardship, um, <laughs> or, um, you, you will not be my abang. You will right. cherish every single moment and be, be grateful and be thankful for, for every bit of little success you make. So that's that's really great and that's really interesting as well because a lot of people uh what do you think about or what do you think? I think there are pros and cons. Um I think the big pros would be there is just you you get popular very very easily. Instantly mm-hmm. people will like you. Um I mean if you're doing some television. Mm-hmm. Um the cons, yes. There are more cons than I guess when we mm-hmm. had before because there was no bashing at all. The bashing, the only sort of negativity you do get were, were from, you know, you it's know. really more prevalent through gossip. Yeah, Actually, tabloidism. Tabloidism was was just the 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 thing before, <laughs> and it made you, to be honest, because oh. Did you know? Blah 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 blah. Mm-hmm. But now that's like that's culture. Every everything else is is exposed. Um, especially when the artists themselves are the ones who would like to confide <laughs> in their right. in their audience. So, um, so those are the pros. And I think um, there is a lot of opportunity right now, and it's a blessing to have all these. You know, um, it's just great, and how the metrics and the science of it all just mm-hmm. it works. Whereas before, it was it was just by gut feel, <laughs> or maybe by when you come out, people scream, "Oh, okay, they like me." You know, yeah. um, it, it was uh, it's just great, and how the metrics and the science of it all just mm-hmm. it works. Whereas before, it was. It was just by gut feel, <laughs> or maybe by when you come out, people scream, "Oh, okay, they like me." 
You know, yeah. um, it, it was. Uh, yes, there is. Um, so yes, I I feel a little um, bad for a lot of the the artists right now because of all of that. Um, and I, you can see that a lot of them are really affected by it. It right. There's there's so much anxiety. There's so much. Deep in the shadows, under